All right. Today we're trying out a, new, a free game off of Steam called Mobius Final Fantasy. I have been a big fan of Final Fantasy for a long time, though I, there's a couple that I never did get around to finishing. We have uh, Final Fantasy XII, which I lost my PlayStation 2 when I moved, so who knows. And uh, Final Fantasy XIII, I've never got around to finishing. I get to the middle section when you're in the wide open plains and you can cut around and fight stuff. and Just for whatever reason or another, I just never got around to finishing it. Played Final Fantasy XI, Final Fantasy XIV, really enjoyed those games. Final Fantasy XI being one of my favorite MMOs of all time. So, we're going to give this one a try and see if it's any good. Now, it's uh, apparently originally designed for the mobile device. Uh, on my iPhone, I had considered downloading it, but I knew I'd never play it on my phone. So, here I am. I'm going to give it a try on my computer. Let's agree to the uh, terms of service here. Uh, we're going to start a new game. Let's put... Uh, oops, i got my caps lock on, soft on. Uh, no. We're going to go through the tutorial, I guess. Let's see what happens. Select position of menus. Right aligned or left aligned. You can change the settings from within the game. Well, let's stick with right and we'll see how this works. The game update is available. Well, let's get that done. So, while well, it's downloading, uh, let's go through some of the... Uh, I'm going to take a look at the... Uh, reviews that this game has had. Now, we're going to go down the reviews. It shows mixed, but we're going to go with the most recent ones. First one is uh, recommended. They've got 3.9 hours on the game. Uh, despite seeing the not recommended reviews on this page, I didn't have any problems with the app. Um, that's good. This guy's got 36, uh, 32 hours. Do you know who you are? Oh, I think we're good to play now. Do you know how it is you have come to be here? Do you know what you love? What you despise? Whom you love, whom you hate. Do the answers to these questions well up within you? If so, good. That means you are strong in heart and spirit. But who you are, and who you were, mean nothing here. For your past is no more than a light long faded. So, whatever it might be that you think you lost. No, whatever it might be that you think you had is very little indeed. But forgive me, I ramble. What I endeavor to say is this. The world in which you will soon find yourself will greet you, all of you, as equals. But any equality begins and ends there. Know that the light of hope shines not on those who walk with their heads hung low. Look now, there, do you see it? Palamecia, a world of hope unbound. Fox, I will be your guide in this place, and I do hope a most dear companion. It's very loud. <laughs> I may need to turn it down a bit. There we go, it's a little more manageable for my head. So is there anything more to see besides this world? We're going to continue talking. I know there's still 74% uh, of the update to do. I guess I should have checked that before I went. But I want to do this experience from the beginning with you raw, unedited. That's how I go. Now I will probably do in the future some editing of my videos. Because, um, I mean, they get a bit long. Especially doing MMOs. You really only need to see key parts, do stuff. Maybe focus on hard quests. Ooh, I could tap to disable the uh, prologue demo save battery. Well, it's a good thing I'm not running this on a mobile game, but it looks it looks pretty. It's a nice nice graphics. It 
is at full screen, but that's okay. All right, so it's still doing its updates. So I guess we're just looking at the uh, screen. So let's go back and look at some reviews. Uh, we may uh, go ahead and uh, uh, turn it down just a little bit more. Hopefully that's uh, that's affecting the uh, the recording. Now, uh, let's see. This guy's got 32 hours. I've read of people having crashes and server problems, but I downloaded as soon as it was available and have not had any trouble downloading. Installing the patch took around 30 minutes and could play the game straight away. I've not had any downtime since and I have it running nearly constantly while working alongside it. This is a semi-long review of all aspects to date, so please strap in. Apparently it's a long review. Uh, this is my first time playing this game. Never played the mobile version of the game, but noticed in my queue two days ago. Downloaded it straight away and started it instantly. Intro. Nice intro movie and cinematics. While the tutorial is a bit lengthy if you haven't played before and wish to read all the text to get acquainted with the gameplay, it does a great job of explaining everything. You want to read everything as a brand new player? It could take up to around 30 minutes. Um, graphics, animations, music, sound effects, extremely impressed. For a mobile port played full screen on my main monitor, it looks fantastic. The animations during battles greatly exceed the cinematic animations. Well, that's good news, full screen, which means probably once it's down to loading and I start the game, I can probably full screen it. That'll be great. So, I don't want to go through this whole, whole thing, but we do have some time. We're 51%, so luckily I've got a slightly better internet connection than this guy did. My update's going to take less than 30 minutes. Uh, this next guy starts off first line the only mobile game that I felt was worth my time now I have played some mobile games I do have one on my channel I think that's showing that I had put on a long time ago is to be playing around on uh, Final Fantasy uh, Heaven Strike Rivals I really enjoyed that uh, let's look for a negative review I'm scrolling down seeing if I can find negative there was none on the first page of reviews but if we go on the side here, there was one here. Has some good sides, but the grind from mobile free-to-play games is still there. Also, the AI seems to be way better at the game than me when I let it auto-battle. That's interesting. Uh, any other negative ones? It's another one of those Japanese card battle games that has pretty graphics and way too many confusing mechanics and text on the screen. Why do the Japanese like these games so much? <laughs> It's, it's an odd comment, I think, that the Japanese like games that you have to actually play, that you have to be good at, you have to learn, and it takes some thinking. I find uh, what has happened with video games since I started playing video games to the video games that are out now is there's a lot of buttons and fancy things and combinations and, and all that stuff, or there's jumping and shooting. And it's very, it, you, you react, you do something. That's how it goes nowadays. Back then, you had to be smart. You could strategize. Strategize? That's not even a word. A strategize. You know, you come up with a strategy. You you take what you have, and you make it work. I remember games being good, and then I remember Final Fantasy VII coming out. That's when I started to notice it, you know? You'd pop to a save thing, and it'd tell you, hey, you can save your game here. So if you die, this is where you come back. Well, people playing the game should already understand that. I mean, it's, it's not a new genre. But they're trying to bring everyone in, and it made it look fancy. And I remember how awesome the game seemed when I first played. Like the graphics were amazing. Now I look at the graphics like, well, <laughs> it's a little dated. So, whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm eager to uh, get into this. It looks nice. And if it is a card battle type game, and there's strategies we put together things, there's a lot of thinking. Uh, I like that. I like coming up with combinations, and I like specifically to come up with combinations that are against the norm and piss people off. When I played Magic the Gathering online, because I preferred it online, there was always more games to play, different types of games, free-for-all, you know, um, Emperor. Well, I'd like to go to a free-for-all game, and I'd build, uh, I'd build decks made from <clears throat> red, like goblin decks with coin tosses and enchantments that cause chaos, where um, I think one was called Plant Platter Chaos, and every time you, you threw a spell or something that directed, it would randomly hit something else that it was eligible to hit, so you could even hit yourself if it was possible on the cards played. And there was another one I put down, which 
Or anytime somebody played an item, they had to swap it with another random item on the board. Another one that made you flip coins every time that you tried to play something down. And if you failed the flip, your card would get discarded. <clears throat> And I used to play these cards. I used to make people quit in one-on-one -on -one games. Just, I came to play cards, not coins. And I'd laugh, because, you know, you quit, it goes in my win ratio. So, so I like a game we can have a little fun. I like games where you can have chaos. So I'm not sure it's going. I haven't, I haven't played a card game or anything like that that really got my, my interest like Magic the Gathering. Now, I'd go back to Magic the Gathering, but I spent way too much time in it. It costs way too much money in Festi, because it's just like... In real life, the cards, and I went out and bought specific cards. I bought cards individually. I, you know, spending twenty-five dollars on a card, you know, or finding deals and trying to haggle out of people to, to build the decks you want to get the cards you need to finish this theme, this theory you're coming up with, right? And hope that it works. So it's uh, it's lots of fun. How are we making out there now? All right, I'm not really looking. Eighty-nine percent. We're almost there. So how much more can I ramble while we wait on this? Again, I, I could stop the recording and come back once it's all updated and start all over again. But again, I want you to be part of my experience. You know, experience what I experienced during the game. And go through, I don't want to, uh, you know, I just come in there and cherry pick. Just go for it. Be raw. All right, we're getting there. Now, I don't know if we get to run around a world like this or what's going on. I'm very curious. But if you're watching this, feel free. If you're liking what we are seeing, feel free to subscribe. You don't have to, but if you're liking it, do that. And hit like. Leave a comment. Preferably, maybe a comment on any free-to-play games that you'd like to see me try on Steam. Um, and you can find me on Steam under Seth Diamond Canada, so it'll... Uh, have Canadian flag next to it. So add me as friend, whatever. Alright. Tap to start. It's not a true port, I don't think. Connecting. Item shop. But I'm told it's not a free to it's not a pay-to-win item shop, so whatever. They're going to make money somehow, right? Such as Elixirs and Phoenix Downs are always available with an additional daily rotation, something, something. All right. So what's going on here? Now, Pelamisia, that's, uh, that's Final Fantasy Thirteen, right? Okay, tutorial start. Play the tutorial to obtain jobs and ability cards. Seems like a good idea to me. Attack. Tap to attack an enemy. Action until your actions cut down to zero. sure why I'm clicking there, but... Oh, a new battle. Select target. Well, let's take the, the weak guy. Oh, target view. Alright. Why do I click here? You have four Earth Orbs stocked and can now use Earth Sword ability. Let's use it. Try using the Earth Sword ability. That seemed like a little overkill. Okay, generate. Let's see, okay, basic 
battle basics attack to store element orbs then expend them to unleash abilities that sounds exciting try using a different ability attack to draw elemental ores I'll just attack them I guess they're both the same Increased damage, reduced damage, weaknesses and resistance. Enemies are weak to abilities opposing their element. Attacking fire enemies with water abilities yields greater damage. Conversely, enemies resist attacks of the same element as theirs. Attacking water enemies with water abilities would yield lesser damage. Seems to make sense. And back at it again, my goodness. All right, tip, store element orbs of normal attacks and use them to unleash power abilities. All right. I guess we just go for it. He's fire. Okay, I see the fire right there on him. I see that. So we use the blizzard. Bam! He's dead. Showed a nice little weakness sign on there. Ooh, he looks like a boss guy. He's a fire guy. Break tutorial. Reduce an enemy's break gauge to zero to get past its defenses indicated by break. I guess I can't use that. It wants me to only use this. Normal attacks are relatively ineffective at reducing an enemy's break gauge. Let's try using abilities next. Alright, well, so I tried to use it. Okay, reducing an enemy's break gauge. Using an ability against an enemy turns their break gauge red. Red break gauges are significantly easier to reduce with normal attacks. Well, it's red now, so... Now he's broke, and we'll use the ice. Oh, and he looks dead to me. What do we got now? No, the same guy again. He's fire, and he needs to be broken. Uh, so he didn't do very good. I was hoping it would, but... Seem pretty simplistic. I'm sure it gets more complicated, maybe. By the by, tell me, what are your names? Speak your name. If you are able. My name is Sefton. Oh, is that truly the name you claim? Very well, but know this. Yours is a very special name. For it is that of a hero foretold to bring hope to this doomed world. The Warrior of Light. But this world has not yet come to know him. In time, one of you will become this Warrior of Light. For so the prophecy ordains. But I confess, I find this quite the conundrum. Already so many of you share that name. So who among you is our true hero? Sadly, you come here this day, blank slate. Yes, blank indeed. So let us call you just that. You are blanks all. Listen, blanks. Make for the north. And the north? What's to the north? Best do what he says. Trust me, I know Vox can be a pain. But whatever he bothers to say is useful. Most of the time. What about the rest of the time? Complete and utter dream. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Alright, I got a score. There's a seed bonus. Best new score. New best score. Rank up. That's exciting. 
Gaining player levels will grant you several adventures, such as higher total stamina. No way. Cards in your deck also gain experience and levels. The higher a card's level gets, the stronger it becomes. Acquiring items. You can obtain treasures and cards dropped by enemies at the end of battle. You've obtained a new card. Tap back to return to the results screen once you've viewed the card's details. Grudge Fighter. That's nice. Can I look at the card? Alright, this card is easy to obtain. Enhance creates fire skill seeds. Lesser flame blast. Warrior ability. Cone fire attack. Something. I don't really know what I'm looking for here. Skill seeds created by card. Ta -da. It needs four to unlock. I guess that's that. Well, let's go back, I guess. So I got one card and some seeds. Open a chest. What do I got in the chest? The elixir is time through. You've uncovered hidden treasure in Primordia. That's... Alright. Deck building tutorial. Assign cards to your deck to gain power and abilities. Some cards, decks. You can set up four ability cards to deck. So right now we've got at least the ones we used to bring. This brings up your current card list. And oh, this card selected cards in detailed view slotted a new card into your deck that levels of all four cards in your deck determine your power level so one two three four I'm power level four your power level rises as the cards in your deck gain levels I'm an onion knight it's very Final Fantasy 11 ish this includes the introduction to deck building tap home to return the home menu You've discovered a new area. Tap to advance. Okay. Area info. Make sure to inspect an area's details before advancing. You'll be able to see the number of stamina points required to enter the area, as well as the number of battles you'll need to fight. So, information. It requires two stamina, and there's four battles. Well, how much stamina I got? I don't know, but I'm sure I have enough. Okay, 1.5 times, difficulties 3, first clear, okay. Enemy info, you'll be able to see the elemental types of notable enemies in the area, so the water, boss sighted, alright. You can choose the deck you wish to use in the area, the tutorial will use the current deck, okay, and go. I'm the warrior of light, fat chocobo barrier, race defense for... So, should I rent? You can temporarily borrow one card from another player to add to your deck. <laughs> Tap to rent. Alright. Review your setup before you head out. Alright. Well, whatever. We'll see what happens here. Didn't seem like I walked far. Seems like it was further on the map. Oh, whatever. I think we'll just... Kill it. Uh, store the pink-colored life elemental orbs to use a support ability. How do I know which one I'm storing? I... I, I put barrier up. Alright. So I got protect. It says boons and elementals display as icons. The numbers displayed over these icons are the number of turns the effects are active. So three turns. Support abilities have cooldowns. You must wait a set number of turns after using one before it becomes available as displayed. So seven turns. Life orbs are rarer than other elements. Use them wisely. Except for when you tell me to use them, I guess. I don't know. Absorbing elemental orbs has a number of different effects. 
Let's trigger an elemental drive. Tap and hold the element ring. Slide your finger to the life element, then release. Slide my finger, eh? Absorbing life orbs restores your health. The amount of hit points restored scales with the number of orbs absorbed. Use life element drives when your hit point is low. Alright. What am I doing here? Feels like I was going slow for some reason. Ah, I see. I can click multiple times. That's what's going on. Alright. He seems like a fun guy. Now let's trigger an elemental drive. Slide this way. Slide your finger to the water element, then hit release. Here I come. Using one of the four elements to trigger an elemental drive has two beneficial effects. Raise resistance. Absorbing water orbs makes you resistant to water damage. And lower elemental draw chance. Absorbing water orbs lowers the chance to draw water orbs for a few turns. Well, that's good. The chance, <clears throat> the change in elemental draw chance is visually displayed in the element ring. So now I've got a chance of earth and fire. I see. Use elemental drives to manipulate element orb draw chance. Well, I don't have anything to do now, so I'm just going to attack it. I was going to go with it. against water, but we'll kill him anyway. Alright, that was exciting. Alright. Well, looks like we could use a, a little resistance to the water. Get rid of that. Let's go try... Is that it? Did I get all the battles? Your score! Best score! 13. So somebody did better than me. Getting a new high score lists you on weekly rankings. So I rank down. I guess. I got some seeds, I guess. You receive skill seeds after battle. A higher battle score increases the number of seeds you receive two cards. New card. Uh, what is he? A grudge shaman. The ability, the moderately sized fiend born out of chaos plight. This card is easy to obtain and enhance water skills. Follow a player. I guess following players disables disable tutorial. No, okay. I guess I won't because it's probably not a real player. All right, so let's open up the chest. See what we got. You've uncovered hidden treasure in shaded forest. Three phoenix downs. That's always good, I guess. Skill panel. All right. Each job can be enhanced by unlocking improvements in their respective skill panels. Tap the cards menu. Dex. Alright, skill panel. Okay, above is the number of skill seats you currently have. Yes. There's a panel you can unlock with 10 fire seats. Tap this panel. But do I want to? Increase attack by 5. That sounds good to me. 
You've unlocked new enhancements. You can unlock skill panels in any order. You, you So choose whatever you need most. Okay, so I could unlock some things, I guess. Uh, these are all fire, but... Uh, well, that's hit points. That's magic. That's hit points. I, I like... Power. Can I not do it? I thought I had enough, but apparently I don't. Maybe they just won't let me do it. All right, skill seeds created by deck. Okay, build your deck with the right cards to get more seeds at the end of the battle. Some panels unlock advanced jobs and new weapons, so be sure to gather the seeds you need most. This includes the skill panel section of the tutorial. Tap home to return to the home page. Alright, let's go to the next area. Select a rental card. Do we want a rental card this time? Uh, Earth Burst. Is there a point to doing this? I don't think I need... Oh wait, there's other things. Ooh, Crush last sounds exciting, but it's level 10, so we're gonna just cancel. And we're gonna go. Oh, apparently I have to, to rent something. Just rent his, he's level six. Okay. Well, I know. All right. So I wasn't fully sure why I'm renting. I don't feel I need to, but we'll see what's what's in the auto battle. Use the auto battle feature to automatically fight past trivial enemies quickly. Yeah, it works for me, I guess. Seems to know what he's doing. I can't argue with that. That's wonderful. Let's keep going. Well, we got a card. A new card. He looks fancy. What's he got? He's a diminutive fiend born out of chaos, plight, blah, 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 wind fang. Ranger ability, single target, win attack. Sounds great. Alright. Let's go back. Let's see, I don't know what's going on anymore. It's, things are all just brought to me. Follow this player? Yeah, sure, why not? I'm following someone, I guess. Ability ticket times two. You've uncovered hidden treasure. What is an ability ticket and what does it do? The law of Palamecia. Your metal is constantly being tested. So we're all potential warriors of light in training. I see I need to mince words with you. They don't. In fact, stop talking altogether. Ooh, a fire in the belly. You obtained a new job card. Try changing jobs from the menu. A neophyte ranger. You obtain a new job card. Try changing jobs in the menu. Apprentice Mage. Sounds exciting. Job change. Ooh, let's watch the tutorial. Why not? Tap the cards menu. All right. So I go here. We go to decks. Slide the top deck panel to choose another deck. So Light it. <laughs> okay. These are job cards in this slot. Yeah, let's go with Mage, because it's said to go with Mage. Now we gotta probably put some cards in here, right? You've changed jobs to Apprentice Mage. Make sure to check each job's preferred elements. Well, he likes fire. Uh, is that water? 
and uh, wind. Uh, jobs and elements. Each job has preferred elements that dictate which cards you can use in that job's deck. Note that all jobs can use the life element and all support abilities. Let's set ability cards most useful to the Apprentice Mage. The leftmost slot in your deck is the bonus XP slot. Cards set here receive more XP. Tap the bonus XP slot. Well, he wants me to put this one in here. I guess. I don't know. Uh, this brings up the list of ability cards you own. Cards that this job cannot use are marked with a exclamation mark. Cards with a thing are mage type cards. Use these to build your deck. All right. Oh, who do I want to get it? Well, we'll give it to him, I guess. Okay. Let's need three more cards for my deck. Well, I can put this one, I guess. I don't really have a lot of options. I don't think I have anything. They're already up there. Make sure to check that the card selected is marked with a and select your appropriate elements for your deck. Well, I've only got three, so. I'm pretty sure I've got no other cards. Let's go with that. You can't use him. Job types and magic bonuses. Ability cards are assigned to three job types as indicated by the following icons. Well, that makes sense. Alright, so I got a guy in there that I can't really use. So we just bring up this includes the job change to tap home. Well, we don't let me do anything. I can't do anything for myself. I have to follow the instructions, is what I don't like to do. Let's go to the next area. There's two battles and three stamina. Fire boss. Why am I renting stuff? I didn't even. Where's this currency I'm renting with? Like, how do I know how much of this currency I have? 920. Alright. Right here, I'll, I'll rent your damn earth sword. That should be exciting. Ultimates. All right. Each job has a unique and powerful ultimate ability. Expend elemental orbs by using the abilities and element drives to fill the ultimate gauge. Use abilities to fill the ultimate gauge. The ultimate gauge is full. Unleash your ultimate ability. Dab and hold the ring. Reign of Ruin. Sounds exciting. What are we going to learn here? It's exciting stuff. Can we Reign of Ruin yet? No. fire. He must like that. Oh, that didn't go so well. Just throw things at him. It seems to work just fine. And my hit points were getting lower for once. By now, and I don't hear that voice anymore. Hear the world. Real sounds. Painfully real. Rustling leaves, running water. Pleasant sounds. It feels like home. Hmm. Not that I remember anything about home. <laughs> what? That made no sense. Feels like home. Not that I remember home. What do you know? What are you talking about? 
Oh, we got a card. It's exciting. So I get to play on my own now? Is that what's happening? Did I finish the tutorial? What a relief. I know this place. Or not. I guess this could be anywhere. Oh, great. Time to fight. Such a pleasant guy. Summon ticket times two. Story completion reward received. So am I good? You can enhance cards through fusion. Oh, still, still going. Well, let's fuse some cards. Fuse? Fuse. Yes. Select cards to enhance. Well, I'm very limited on cards. I didn't even see what my new card is. I'm going to select him. Uh, base card. Select fusion cards. Future to card, skill levels, ability leads. Uh, cards receive experience points through fusion and become more powerful as they gain levels. It's probably going to be like my uh, Heaven Strike Rivals, where you could com combine other cards to level them up. Max level 8 for that card. Max overboost level something. Uh, fusion can unlock hidden skill seeds on a card. Skill seeds are used to unlock enhancements for your job. Um, ability fusions are the hardest to perform. These raise the level of a card's ability. Making it more potent. Select fusion cards. Alright. Oh, it wants me to take this guy. Oh, let's take him. So what we're going to do, we're going to fuse somebody looking at this one to this one. Skill seed fusion 100%, ability fusion 50%. Chance, let's see what happens. Well, that was something. Skill seed fusion. Ability complete. I fused it. Max level 2 for that ability. That's exciting. Alright. This concludes the fusion section of the tutorial. I think you can play with it. It's not going to be that complicated. It'll be interesting. Uh, you can use the rare summon tickets to summon cards. Summon cards. So what I do with these cards, there are several types of cards summoned. Job Summon lets you summon job cards. Ability Summon lets you summon random ability cards. Gigantor Summon lets you summon material cards useful in fusions. Try out Ability times 3 Summon. You really want me to do that. That's exciting. Use two summon tickets to summon a card. Of course it takes two tickets. Alright. It's probably good I don't have to. Tap the draw. Let's see what we get. So I wonder if I play it on here, if I can play it on my phone. I'll have to find that out. If I like the kind of switch back and forth, because I know I can do it on my... using the uh, Android app on my computer, the emulator, to play a game, the other game I was doing on my phone. You obtain a powerful new card. The number of stars on a card indicates its rarity. Rare cards are star 3 and star 4. So he's a star 3. Why did I say a 3 star? Slide a few more. Uh, a didactic demon, one aspect guiding the dead to the beyond, and other jump judging cards. This is a level 16 card. This rare card can only be obtained through summoning, creates wind and dark seed skills. Rare cards have passive effects called auto abilities that are always active when they're in your deck. Auto ability break power up 3%. And I need an extension material card to unlock. Tap back to get out of here. I should probably read all the way through sometimes. Now, we're done there. Um, there are shops you can visit to purchase ability cards and items useful for enhancing cards. So let's go to shop. Uh, let's go to the ability. Sh we're going to go. 
item shop. Home, I guess we're just telling the, the names of the shops. I could have figured that out on my own. All right. The Magicite Distiller. The Magicite di necessary to purchase cards and items can be obtained from the Magicite Distiller. Magicite accumulates over time in the Magicite Distiller. This gauge indicates the amount of Magicite currently collected. So I've got that much. It's full, I'm guessing. I don't know. We'll find out in a second. Distiller will hold up to 100. And pieces of Magicite. Make sure to recover the accumulated Magicite before it gets full. Time to collect Magicite. Yeah. You obtained 100 Magicite. Magicite accumulates continually, so keep an eye on it and collect what's yours. My hit points are low, though, so I, I didn't auto-recover after battle. That's good to know. Renting cards. Let's put the card you just obtained up for other players to rent. Why can't I use it? This concludes the rental car tutorial, Temple, but I want to change my comment. Oh, well. Congratulations, you've completed the tutorial. Tap here, tap here, tap help in the escape menu if you ever need further information. Well, that's nice of them. Login bonus. The login bonus list has been updated. The list is renewed every 16 days. Log in every day to receive all available rewards. Phoenix down, look at that. There we go. So these are just whatever. Alright. Special login bonus list received. Log in to claim the extra items from this time limit list on top of the regular login bonus. Regular list is renewed every 16 days. Log in every day to receive all available rewards. There's 15 presents left. I guess I just hit OK. Use life orbs. Mystic tablet. Mission rewards. Mystic tablet. Ability ticket. That's a daily mission. So my daily mission is to use five life orbs. Maybe. All right. All right, event. Part one of a limited time event, Eclipse Contact has arrived. Final Fantasy VII Special Region, Eclipse Contact. Part one available February 7th, Tuesday. 7 p.m. PST. Well, interesting. 10 million player milestone campaign. Remake card summons, batch one lineup. All right, well, it sounds exciting. Uh, maybe we should go home. Go travel. Uh, fire boss. Yeah, seems like we're okay with that. See, I don't want to really rent, though. But I guess I have to. Oh, he's ready for that. Let's see what happens. Let's go. We'll give it a try. It'll take some learning, I guess. So I'd like to know why I'm not full screen. Well, whatever. Must be an ability setting here. Yeah, I can just auto this. It just. <laughs> I don't want to auto this. I want to come oh, maybe. We'll see what he does. Kind of like a manager. You set things up and see what happens. Mm. 
much faster than I am. I wonder what the online's like. Do you get to play against other players? We'll find out at some point. Maybe that'll be the next video. After I've got a little couple hours under the belt there. So I rank down, but it's okay, whatever. I got I got a level. Woohoo, I'm level two. Stamina restored. Uh so you use stamina, I guess, to get through. So 3031, map decks three. I can have three decks now. That didn't change. XP bonus. Level five apprentice mage. That's exciting. No cards. That's fine. Follow this player? Sure, I don't know. Why not? Let's open that chest up. What do we get? 10,000 gil. So where do we get that gil? Where does that gil go to be used? The gil to buy stuff? Who knows? Help me! I'm sorry, Kubo! Help me! Go on. Save it. You heard the law of this place. None pay heed to those without the will to fight. Which means that none here will bother to save that helpless mortal. I am God, and my purpose is to temper any blank who shows promise as he walks the path you walk. Hmm. <laughs> I sense there is something great in you, but to survive. <laughs> hmm. Vox, watchful as ever. Let's die. Look at the poor thing, those desperate little eyes. Did you know all Mugu share a common mind? Save one, and all will owe you a life debt. A rare chance. Best not let it slip away. <laughs> Seems like I'm bothered. Unknown ways. Pause icons appear next to areas where in powerful fiends await. Make sure to check the information displayed in each area description and prepare accordingly. Sounds exciting. Well, we've got gifts here. What's going on with these gifts? Ten million gil. We've sent you gifts in celebration of Mobius FF reaching the ten million. Well, it's totally mark. Jumping George. I don't know how much money is worth, but I want to play around with this thing and I want to go see what's going on with that. It's a lot of matricide. I guess. SMU? What is that? Alright. And if we go to the shop, what do we got? We got that, that, that. Purchase matricide, purchase Mobius gift box. Item shop, summon cards, but I only got one summoning tickets, so. So, what are we doing with that? E Ticket used in the ability shop, purchase. Alright. Oh, they use magicites to buy these. So, I don't know what the coins are good for. Buy gill. So, can you do it the other way around? So what are gill items for? Ether fills your ultimate gauge. Two million gill. And that's all they got for gill? Ugh. So I don't know what here. I've got card list, info, tickets, sort, uh, max boost. this. Cassandra 3, job type mage. Use 3 ability tickets to purchase Cassandra. I got 14. Is that a job? So what are these? Well, I guess that's... Oh, 
up my courage now. I don't want to. Well, it seems I have one here, so I can go back to courage of this deck here. Can I change the decks? Decks, go to decks. We're gonna replace you with. Multiplayer deck shit. Oh, well, there's some settings here. What do we got? Uh, Windows config. Let's see what we got. Well, screen type portrait or landscape. Uh, screen. Full screen, will it change? Oh my god. I got cut off when I changed to full screen, and I didn't realize that it wasn't recording anymore. So, what I've done is I've uh, just did a quick little recording. We're going to throw it up there. I did go into uh, the uh, this boss battle earlier. It's too bad it didn't record, and I, I, I manually fought him. It was, it was okay. So, uh, this is just kind of the intro, the tutorial of the game. Um, I may play around with it some more. I might stream it live. Who knows? Uh, while I'm playing it, I'm not sure. But uh, I will come back and revisit this game, and uh, and I'll give a personal opinion. Right now, I think uh, it's a little, I find it a little clunky. It's I got a lot of stuff now. I I play other games that were similar. And I find it's a little easier to figure out what's going on, but I think maybe sometime I'll know what I'm looking for. It'll be a lot easier. So I'll, I'll still hold back on this and see if it's worth playing some more. And I might really, really enjoy it. I might end up just putting it down and not picking it up again. I'm just saying. So who knows? But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, so please subscribe, like, uh, suggestions for other free games that are on Steam that you'd like me to try, or maybe even a game that's not free. I mean, some of my favorite games are the ones I've paid for, but uh, limited funds right now, and I do plan on building and upgrading this computer at some point. Is a, it is a priority, but probably not till the summer. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's been a blast, and we'll talk to you later.